Hi everybody. Welcome to our teaching channel. Today's our topic is important questions for teaching teachers interview. In a teacher profession, there are so many candidates who are getting fear, getting scared for giving an interview because they don't know what they will ask and how you how i will give the answer it is a very big uh, thing for them but for that you have to prepare yourself before going to give an interview so we will discussing about some points for the questions of the interview time first thing is prepare yourself before an inter an interview when you know ki aapko interview ke liye so and so date ko jana hai so for that you have to prepare yourself you have to do some homework for for an interview before giving a demo make prepare yourself and make practice at home in this your discipline is very important but more than that confidence your voice quality your attitude your dressing sense greeting to higher authorities are also an inspiring quality before giving an interview you have to develop some qualities some characteristic in you and first is discipline second is confidence third one is your attitude fourth one is your dressing sense and after that how you are perform yourself in front of the panel so we will go further and i will explain everything some amazing points which you should enhance some points i am giving you उससे क्या होता है कि आप वो पॉइंट के ऊपर ही घर पे काम करके ही इंटरव्यू के लिए जाना यू हैव टू प्रिपेयर योर सेल्फ फॉर दैट इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सेल्फ इंट्रोडक्शन इट इज कंपलसरी दैट एवरी पैनल एवरी प्रिंसिपल वी आस्क अबाउट योर इंट्रोडक्शन बट एट दैट टाइम your speaking system your face expression your attitude everything is very important and you have to go step by step so we will discuss further about this thing then they will ask about the demo preparation so demo for a demo you have to give demo there in front of children ya yeah, in front of pen so for that you have to prepare yourself how you will give demo and for demo first steps what should be the first step if you go in front if you present your demo in front of panel so what your attitude should be and in the when you perform in front of children what your attitude should be that you have to prepare and we will discuss further body language at the time of an interview your bad body language is very very important because at the time of interview your face expression is telling so many things so always be there forget everything whenever you present in front of panel the principal you should be keep yourself there only your mind should be there your body should be there so don't allow your mind to go here and there fourth one is personal appearances you should be dignified wear mild color clothes with a distance way which can cover your body with good manner your dressing sense is also very important there your appearance will also appear there 
so how you will do that that we will discuss further more your body language should be impressed by the panel facial expression make your pleasant and conf confidence smiling face all the things are give a good or bad effects to the panel body language and facial expression is very important straight body sit stand sit stand walk and look straight a basic criteria don't try to look here and there you have to <coughs> you have to look toward the panel so that means you are interested in thing thing if you look around the room and try to observe what is there and what is the name and everything so it is not needed your total concentration should be toward the panel your makeup jewelry makeup should be light jewelry light and simple and comfortable shoes you have to wear yeah simple so this thing is very important very minor but it is very important at the time of an interview first question they will ask tell me about yourself your self introduction you have to prepare for that before 4 5 days so your name education awards obtain different courses your achievement in any field everything you have to tell one by one and with a decent way your interesting subject hobby explain everything so your name is important your education or award what what the courses you have done before that and if you have achieved any awards or any important certificates so that also you have to uh, tell them and the important is your interesting subject what is your interesting subject what is your important hobby because they will find out which type of person you are how many hobbies you have how you will develop your hobbies and how you will explain it in front of children why did you choose to become a teacher so many uh, panel will ask you because they are knowing in with every every working system there is some goal if you do a teacher it's some it's there is some criteria of yours some uh, candidates some people are not liking teaching job so everyone liking are different so sometimes some teachers are telling just i am coming, uh, coming here to time pass don't tell that because you are not going for a time pass you are making a foundation of a foundation of Uh, children so you are not going for a time pass not a pocket money so that is a very very wrong thing so in this question you have to answer i believe that teachers are one of the most important pillar of society teachers are playing a very important role for making a strong foundation for the child's future the teacher profession is a very noble and respectful profession and most important is that i like children too much it is a also very important i want to be a teacher but i don't like children i can't uh, deal with them so it is not possible for you to be a teacher so first of all your attraction should be to a teacher very nicely and that you are so giving so many things to the children you are a role model of the children so whatever you have all the characteristic the children will take from you 
so you have to develop all the good characteristics and go there and make their children uh, uh, make a strong foundation because it is the beginning years are very very important second is why did you leave your last teaching job they will ask you because if you have an experience they will ask you why are you leaving this but the first thing is don't tell any negative things of another school or another person it is a bad manner so you have to answer them and looking for a bigger opportunities and i heard about your teaching innovative method so i want to enhance myself with your good quality education you have with this answer you gave some positive points of that the school and you want to learn from them it is a very very good thing that's why you want to change and you are going further and further you are going on a top level of the teaching line that why you want to learn so many different different things that's why you have changed the job what do you know about teaching philosophy some people are thinking it's okay bachche ko sikhane ke liye koi problem nahi hai anything we can do because they are not understanding but you are forgetting children are understanding so many things and some negative points also going in them so the philosophy should be i believe that as a teacher we are creating good and educated citizen for our country that is a very important you are creating a good citizen for a country a good person jab bhi country ke andar bahut बड़ी मात्रा में एजुकेशन पीपल रहेगा एजुकेटेड पीपल रहेगा तो हमारे देश की क्वालिटी भी बहुत ऊपर रहेगी सो यू आर मेकिंग अ गुड सिटीजन ऑफ आवर कंट्री सो एवरी टीचर नोइंग देयर स्टूडेंट्स कैपेबिलिटी एंड इंटरेस्ट टीचर आर वर्किंग सो मैनी विद सो मैनी चिल्ड्रन बट टीचर आर नोइंग ईच एंड एवरी क्वालिटीज ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स and interest of the students because she is a teacher she has to work very patiently with them so teachers works are to point out a path of his or choice of interest teachers are knowing their interest every children has a different different qualities and they have a different different interest and every teacher is knowing all the students interest all the students qualities all the students potential so they have to guide their parents that your te- your child is interested in this and this subject so please develop it so you are guide- giving guideline to the parents also so this is the answer of the question the fourth one is do you aware about the qualities of teacher for enhance the child career you are making a child's career when you are making a strong foundation you are find out their interest you are find out their potential so you are guiding them on a particular field so for that you are making a good foundation but for that you have to develop some qualities in yours also then only you will give if you have that only you will give them if you don't have it is not possible to give them so you have to develop some teachers qualities teacher should have to accept this profession with a patient patient is a very big quality for it side by side teacher should have patience flexibility discipline and be able to read child's mind before dealing with children every child teacher has to read every child's mind every child's attitude they have to be patient they have to update their knowledge they have to be a role model of the student 
because whatever you give it will be lifetime with the with the children on the first day of your teaching job how will you act in your classroom some one experienced teacher they are getting scared what i will present in front of children because i don't know anything <clears throat> so for that you have to prepare one two or yeah, three demos in at your home and then give a practice of it develop a confidence in yourself always uh, stand in the uh, opposite side of the mirror and get the reflections of yours how you are expressing so that is the base thing to develop yourself so first of all introduction session i will arrange because introduction is very important teacher has to give the name of herself to the children because they are knowing with this name only for getting attraction toward me i talk with them as a friendly and try to involve in the small and easy games for giving an enjoyment if you give some enjoyment and innovative thing in front of children if they are not knowing but if you play some game if you attract to do some uh, innovative thing then they will come to you and they will recognize you as a good person but before all these i decorate my classroom very creatively every student like very colorful thing so your classroom should be very neat clean attractive and colorful so that is the answer of this the sixth one is how we do use technology in your classroom now it is so many technologies are in uh, technology invention are getting and we are getting the benefit of it like a mobile laptop desktop projector and so many other things but these are a uh, main things for the children but we are getting scared to giving the mobile in their hand we are giving we are getting scared to giving the laptop so for that first of all you have to prepare yourself to work with that technology that criteria according to the given technology first of all i try to understand it and use it after that i plan which method and pictures are making more interesting from them them and will this i try to give lots of knowledge with fun and creativity so many technologies are there but first of all teacher has uh, some knowledge about the technology he are uh, used to she she should be used to to perform with that technology in front of children so for that they have to do some practice of it and then after that she has to present in front of children that the part is a technology but in a technology so many things are here so what will you show them there are so many things but according to child level you have to show in a very different thing and very colorful um, pattern so that will attract the children and they will learn so many things with the technology also the last one is how will you deal with angry parents first i welcome them with a cool mood and voice ask them about the problem first of all i will say sorry for getting trouble of inconvenience to you after that try to make them understand and then i inform our school laws and see i'm sure to make your problem solved first of all teacher has to prepare to discuss with their that parents every children's parents has a different mind and different qualities and their demand is a difference so it is not possible for one teacher to 
satisfied all the parents so sometime they are demanding in a different way so you have to go with a smiling face in a good mood not go with a fighting fighting mood then first of all you have to tell them sorry for getting inconvenience but tell me your problem so you have to hear them very calmly and quietly <coughs> their problem <coughs> and after that you have to explain everything with a nice manner that this problem is occur because of this reason and because our school has different one one laws are there and different criteria are there so we are not able to do something with the dif- uh, different different parents or different different student so there are some limitation so we have to follow the school's rules but still i will try to be a happy and satisfy you at my convenience and again you have to tell them sorry for getting inconvenience and giving you trouble but do take tension i will be here <coughs> for your child <coughs> okay so these all are the important questions before going and inter- going for an interview you have to do a homework of all these questions and in this question you can answer another questions also and don't don't get frustrated if you not pass in that interview because if you go in a first school second school third school for an interview after third school you will get an experience of the giving an interview and in the fourth school you will give it with a confidence and with a smiling face and with a happily so don't get tension there are so many school but if you prepare yourself then you will get good quality marks there and you will get the job so try to getting the job but still if you don't don't frustrate making frustrate yourself okay so thank you very much with being with me if you like my video please share it subscribe it thank you